uh, should be a very interesting fight. All right, here we are. We are underway in round one. Referee Joey Lupino calls for the bell. Biasi and Gracia, champion Greed, presented by Jimmy Birchfield, Classic Entertainment and Sports. Biasi and Gracia are both looking to establish a jab. I saw Biasi on the way in and uh, earlier this evening when I was entering the arena, and he told me to look for some small boxing. He's not going to look for the knockout, but to look for some big overhand lefts. That's one prediction he gave me. Nice right from Biasi. Biasi coming off a quality win over Tim Connors, who he stopped in five rounds with a schedule of 10 rounds. Uh, nice right hand to the body. Gratchev, I think, surprised him with the right to the body. Biasi now, and, and, and it was well played. in with two nice rights, right to the head of Gracia. A nice body shot from Gracia. Gracia coming off a very impressive win. Both guys coming off impressive wins in their last fight. Gracia beat Nadia Nagasima, who was 9-0 oh at the time, down in Miami. One thing about my guy on him, notice he's not afraid to put his guys on the road and take tough fights in other guys' backyards. And Biasi here, the, the hometown crowd, a heavy favorite. Gracia with two nice jabs backing Biasi into the corner, trying to hit to the body, but it was broken up by referee Joey Lupino. I, but I would be willing to bet that Gra Gracia has, does have an extensive amateur background. Judging by the way he's, he's, you know, he's throwing good single stinging blows, the types of shots that at the international level score points. Again, we have a, we have a conventional assault boss, so clash of heads is a big possibility. Both fighters seem to appear almost, even though they're southpaw, they, they seem to have the same type of stance in, in approaching the their punches. Well, they're both very calculated. They're dilated in everything they do, measured in everything they do. Rashev with Biasi, a nice body shot from Biasi. With, well, it's left and a nice over the left. Overhand left cut mostly gloved up. That's what he told me to look for. Not a punch this time. Here we go for round number two. Biasi, again, a, a Manfredo fighter. He see the nice feints. Changes height, feints. Biasi moving very well around the ring. Gracia's trying to find an opening. Gracia is very measured what he does. Excellent right hand to the body. Another body shot from Gracia. Biasi on the ropes and, and another body by left hand. Uh, good right hand to the body by Gracia and, and, and a nice left hook. Absolutely, a nice counter from Biasi there. He fights away from the ropes. Maybe, maybe clash there. No, no touch. Nice feint by Biasi, but right now I think that Gracia is, is landing the, is the cleaner shots. It's definitely a very close round, that's for sure. And there's a big crowd here from Biasi. You, you don't hear much right now. That's an indication that he's not landing on all that much. You're absolutely right. Biasi only able to land some minimal punches on the clinch. He's still trying to throw a jab, but it's really not effective with it at this time. Well, one thing about fighters that come from that Eastern European background is they, they have very little wasted movement. Oh, absolutely. He's very, he, he's picking his shots. Biasi now throwing a little bit wildly. He took right hand by Gracia. Absolutely. Opened himself up for a, a nice shot. That was all on the arm. That was all on the arm. Gracia for the jab. Biasi throwing, but not really connecting all that much. Gracia for a nice body right shot. Up 
who had the arc and has it better right now. Of the two, he seems to have the better, he seems to have the better timing. been moving right in close and right in tight on. Seems to be very comfortable working on the inside. looking very well going in around three. You see the city boxing on his, on his trunks. I've actually been out to that part of San Diego and know exactly where the gym is. It's out by uh, TV. It's at the beach and uh, it's a beautiful part of San Diego. Nice oh, left oh, hand by Biasi. Biasi, yeah. Surprise block there. And he started up with a paint. And now Biasi is leading in with that jab. And he kicked him with a nice left hook. A glancing glove shot. It's like you said earlier. He's really throwing his body into his punches. Rasha with another body shot. Players exchanging nice straight. The Aussie with a nice left. The Aussie trying to go for the body, but Grashev seems to find that his home. The Aussie seems a little tight to me. His, his, his body language it seems like he's a little tense. Grashev seems to be the more relaxed physically of the two. If you just if you if you look at their body if their, their body posture, the Aussie seems a little bit tight. But misses Grachev trying to get him to come in close. But Biasi keeps him away with the jab. Nice, well placed shots. Three body shots for Grachev and the left hook on Biasi. A nice body shot from Biasi in turn. Yeah, gave him a little taste of his own medicine there. Set of the straight right hand to the body. Biasi shot a straight left to the body, right up the middle. I love those shots. Nice left hook by Grasha. Both players throwing hard shots at the end of the round. That was a tough guy to score, I think. I would have to lean towards Grasha. I would agree with that as well. Grasha, as you said, he looks very much more comfortable. And he's landing those solid body shots. You know, they, like you said earlier, those things add up. Absolutely, it's it's mathematics, it's accumulation. They, they they add up little by little, and Biasi just seems tight. He, I think he may know he's being challenged more so than he's ever been before, and that can that can panic in a young fighter where they tense up. And um, you know he's out of Manfredo's gym, so you know one thing he's in fantastic shape. I've spent time down there, and you know one thing he's in fantastic shape. But if he if he's tense, you know it should be interesting to see how his condition is coming down the road. One thing I find interesting is I see Manfredo Sr. talking with Biasi. In his previous 11 fights that I've seen, I have never seen Biasi look tired. He seems
seems like he's out of gas a little bit, and I'm sure it's from the excellent body work of Bradshaw. I don't, I don't feel so much that he's tired. I, I, I just think that he seems a little tense. Like there, he just, he seems like he's, his body is tense. He's a little too excited, which could lead to fatigue down the road. I mean, his energy here is good. He's just tense. If you look at Gracia, he's very relaxed. Yeah, you can definitely see it in their body language without question. Biasi trying to work that jab, landing it a few times. Gracia, once again, a beautiful right to the body of, of Biasi. And now he throws the left hand. Combination, but Biasi catches him with a left hook. For a fighter's a Gracia head right there. Gracia going to the body. Biasi still trying to come up with that uppercut from the left. Biasi trying to, oh, Gracia. on Biasi and allows the fight to continue with Gracia. Gracia. Cut over, he cut over his right eye. His legs don't look good. Gracia going in for the kill. Lands a strong right. Biasi is a Gracia landing with the right to the body. Stop, stop, there was a slip because Biasi lost his mouthpiece as Gracia 